So here we have the Vauxhall Mocha SE on a 16 plate. I'll start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials on the left hand side with the rev counter and on the right hand side the speedometer. In the middle you can see the total miles for this car which are 23,922. At the top there we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. You can change the information displayed in that central section by using controls on the indicator stalk for various different bits of trip computer information. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the right hand side both stereo and phone controls. The phone controls of course can only be used after such time as you've paired your phone up and that is done uh, over in the central area. Hit the phone icon and then you'll see up on the screen we now have a phone menu, Bluetooth settings and you can pair your phone from there. Uh, all the movements I'm making on the screen are all being done using this dial. Uh, you can adjust the music you listen to here as well. So we have FM, DAB and AM radio. You can listen to music via the CD player. There's no CD inserted at the moment. You can also use the auxiliary input on this car. Uh, and the USB input as well. All of that is done just here. The main volume for the stereo is there and you can see the CD player within that unit as well. Under that we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up and down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed within the car. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns the air conditioning on so it's on when that light shows or you can hit auto and the car will take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. Uh, you can override that any time you wish to by readjusting the fans to put them on whatever level you want them back on. Uh, this car's also got a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings, same on the passenger side, and a heated steering wheel as well. Below that, we can turn off the parking sensors. This button turns off the stop and start, so this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, uh, which will save you fuel. I've just turned that system off. We then have the auxiliary and USB inputs underneath this flap and a 12 volt charging socket underneath the other one. And then a six speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.